If your check engine light spits back a P0128 code, it's likely your coolant engine thermostat. To replace the thermostat, we first need to drain the coolant by locating the drain valve under the car. Unscrew that coolant drain valve and allow the coolant to drain. I'm also releasing the radiator cap to allow faster drainage. The air filter intake box is in the way to get access to the thermostat, so we just need to remove this. It's a few nuts and bolts and an electrical connection, nothing too difficult. With the air filter box out of the way, there are some electrical connections connected to a cover over top of the thermostat. So I'm gonna disconnect those electrical connections so we can peel back that cover and get access to the thermostat. And with that cover peeled away, we can start making work on the two bolts of the thermostat housing holding in the thermostat. After those bolts have been removed, we should be able to just wiggle and pop the thermostat housing out to reveal the thermostat. And with just a flathead screwdriver, that thermostat can pop right out. Now it's time to install the new thermostat, making sure that the spring side is facing in and the air bleeder, the small hole in the thermostat, is facing up. Lastly, we want to prepare a gasket using some gasket maker and we want to coat the gasket front and back side and you also want to get around the bolts as well. This gasket will go over top the thermostat. And once that gasket's in place, all that's left to do is put the housing back on, hand tighten those bolts, they don't need to be too tight, and then everything can go right back together. Now all that's left to do is to screw back in the coolant drain and fill up the coolant all the way until no air comes out. And you can bleed out any excess air from the coolant by letting the car run with the radiator cap off. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and good luck.